All right, so now we're going to look at this one here. I'm getting this from page uh, 127. Okay, we're talking about uh, practicing with unit rates. Okay, so we're going to practice with unit rates. And so I look there, calculate each unit rate around the nearest hundreds if necessary. Okay, so when we're doing these kind of problems, okay, we want to find a unit rate which unit rate means a uh, one or a denominator denominator of one. Okay. So then all I gotta think, okay, miles per hour. Miles over hours, not hours over miles. Okay. And so now I have I do three hundred miles in six hours. Well uni unit rate means one. So then that means I need to find the, the rate of 1. So then I would divide by 6. 6 divided by 6. And then, of course, 300 divided by 6. 6 into 30 is 5, which is 30. And then the 0, we just put it up here. And so it's 50. And so that means that it's 50 miles in one hour. You can. This is your answer, or you can leave. Or can you say fifty miles slash hours? You can also leave it like that. Okay. What you don't want to do is to leave just fifty over one. This is not the answer. Fifty over one. No, you must leave it in rate form or unit rate form, which is like this. Okay, it is a rate, so it needs to have the unit of measurement next to it. And that's what, and uni means one, so we denominate it one. Either of these two would be acceptable. Okay, here you have customers and days, so customers and days. Okay, so then you have 6,840 customers in 45 days. Well, how many do you have in one day? You divide by 45. 45 divided by 45 is 1. And then 6,840 divided by 45. Okay. We'll give you the other. Uh, how much? How many customers uh, you're doing one day? So you got to just divide. You got to show this. You got to show your work. 45 goes into 68 one time. 68 minus 45 is uh, 23. You bring down the 4, 45 into 238. Well, I always try uh, 5. Alberto Garcia, please report to the front of the school. Alberto Garcia, please report to the front of the school. And then 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. That's uh, 225. That's pretty close to 40, uh, 234. <coughs> and so I, I don't know if for another 45 would fit. Uh, probably not, so we're going to go with 5. And so that gives me 225. Okay. And now 225. You subtract to 34 minus 25. That gives you, you have to regroup a 9 and you bring the 0 down. And so now you have 90. And so let me just cover this up so you won't think of. Okay. So you have this. Okay. Okay. So all I did was. Uh, 220, 234 minus 225. You have to regroup. So he, he has to borrow him. He has to give him 10. So that's what's 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. You bring the 0 down. And then 45 into 90 goes in twice. And that'll finish off that. Uh, no remainder. So that'll be the end of the division or the problem solving here. And so now we get 152. Uh, customers per day. Okay. Uh, remember, it is a unit rate, so you must show the unit a measurement. Okay. Don't just put 152 over 1. Expect the, to be correct, fully correct. You need to show the units a measurement because it's a unit rate. A rate means you need to find, you need to show me the units. That you're measuring by. Okay. 
So th same thing here. Okay. 45.5 meters in uh, 13 seconds. Okay. Well, what is it in one second? So you would divide by 13. Okay. So you divide by 13. Okay. So and then we'll figure this out. I don't know what that is. You can, you can finish off this problem. Okay. Another one. 7.4 pounds in five. Seven dollars and forty cents for five pounds. So seven dollars and forty cents for five pounds. Okay. I want a unit rate. That means I want a one. I want to know how much per pound. Okay. How much does it cost per pound? And so that's what you got to figure out. Well, if I divide by five, five divided by five is one. So seven forty divided by five. So you're just going to put seven point forty. Divide it by five and solve the problem. And you know what goes here. Number five says estimate the unit rate if 12 pairs of, so of socks sell for 579. Well, if I'm going to estimate, that means I'm going to round off. So I'm going to round off to nearest uh, cent. So five or more, we add one more. So this would be 5.8. So $5.80. So five dollars and eighty cents for twelve pairs. Okay, twelve pairs. Five dollars and eighty cents for twelve pairs. Uh, we want the unit rate. So let me highlight that again. We want the unit rate. Okay. So we want the unit rate. So we need to find the how much does one pair cost? Okay. Again, you divide by twelve. Twelve divided by twelve is one. You gotta find the top number, 580 divided by 12. And you can figure that out and you put the answer there. Okay. Number six says there uh, the results of a swim meet are shown. Who swam the fastest? So we look here. Uh, Tony does 50 meters and 40.8 seconds. Okay. And then, uh, well, how much does Tony do in one second? So I want to know what she does in one second. So you would divide by 40.8. So let's put 50. <coughs> oh, thank you. 50. Divided by 40.8, I get this. I'm going to round off to the nearest uh, hundreds. Five or more, we add one more. So we're going to put 1.23 uh, meters. This is what Tony does. I'm going to look at uh, Pepita. Pepita does uh, 100 meters. Okay, this is her. Okay, 100 meters and 60.2 seconds. So meters and seconds. So I'm going to divide. Okay, 100 divided by 60.2. That gives me 166 uh, and some other numbers, but I don't care about the other ones because I'm going to run up to nearest hundreds place. Five or more, we have more. Four or less, we let it rest. So I'm going to leave it at 1.66. And so that means that Pepita does 1.66 meters in one second. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, can you see it? There it goes. 1.66 meters in one second. And Susana, Susana does it in, I'll put it over here. No, I'll put it here. 112, uh, 200 meters in 112.4 seconds. Okay, so how much does she, do, she does per second? So we're going to put here 200 divided by 112.4. So we're going to round off five or more. We add one more. So 1.78. So Susana, I'll put it over here does 1.78 
meters per second, okay? And so I have the numbers there. All you gotta do is tell me who the fastest, who do you think the fastest person is, okay? So you decide on who do you think the fastest is of these three. One, there's one here, Susana, 1.78 meters in one second. Pepita can do 1.66 meters in one second, and Tony can do 1.23 meters in one second. So you decide who's the fastest. Okay. Number seven, Ben can type 153 words in three minutes. At this rate, how many words can he type in 10 minutes? Since we're uh, talking about a uh, unit rate, that's what we're gonna do here. Um, Let's concentrate on unit rate. Now, there's many ways to solve this problem. We can also solve it by using a proportion, uh, you know, to solve it. So we can also use a proportion. But I think we're going to go with unit, unit rate first. So let's see here. 153 words in minutes. So those are the units that I'm using. Words over minutes. 153 words in three minutes. Well... If I want to find out how much they do in one minute, all I got to do is divide by the denominator, which is three. And so now I know that 153 divided by three, well, three goes into 15 uh, five times, three goes into three one time, so that's 51. So I know that Ben can do 51 words in one minute or per minute. So now that I know that he can do uh, how much words he can do in one minute, I can find out in 10 minutes just by multiplying times 10. Because 51 one minute, well, 10 minutes is 51 times 10, which is 510 words in 10 minutes. Okay, this is how I expect to see the answer, like this. Not just the numbers. Okay, this is not correct. If we just have it like that, 5, 10 over 10, no. You must have it in uh, rates. This is the rates. Remember, two different, uh, you're comparing two quantities with units of measurement. So that's what, that's what you gotta show your rates with, okay? Number eight, Kenji buys three yards of fabric for 7.47. So three yards for seven dollars forty-seven cents. He realizes that he needs two more yards. So he needs more. How much will the extra fabric cost? So again, let's see what we know. We know that seven forty-seven, he gets three yards. Okay. So for seven forty-seven, he gets three yards. Well, let's let's uh, continue with the unit rate. Well, then I can divide by three to find out what the price is for one yard. And so then 747 divided by three, three goes into seven twice. Seven minus six, one, bring the four down. Three goes into uh, 14, was it? Uh, six, uh, four times, four times three is 12, four times minus 12 is two, bring the seven down. Uh, three goes into 27, nine times. So we get $2.49, okay? So that's how much it costs per yard 249 for one yard well he needs two more yards so that means I need to find the price for two yards well that means that one times two is two so that means 2.9 times two which is four dollars and 98 cents and that's how much the extra fabric is gonna cost that's the answer right there it's gonna cost them four dollars 98 cents for the extra fabric Okay, I hope this has helped you, and I hope you can uh, finish. Bye-bye.